hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you how you can take complete full backup of your wordpress website using cpanel this means that we are going to include emails as well in our backup so make sure to watch this tutorial till the end we are going to cover each and everything so you can see we have created this dummy website for this tutorial so first of all let's log into the cpanel now i'm going to type the url of this website then put a slash and then cpanel okay press enter key enter cpanel username and password after login you will see a screen like this and there can be some differences so don't worry about that because that can be because of the theme of this cpanel all you need to do you have to find out here backup or backup manager okay and don't worry if you do not find this option then also i'm going to tell you what you can do to take complete backup of your wordpress website but for now let's go for it find out backup manager it should be under files or you can also search here by typing it like this backup okay click on that inside backup manager or backup you have to find out this option cpanel backup wizard on the bottom side of the screen on the right hand side you can see cpanel backup wizard click on that you will find these two options here backup and restore you have to click on backup then you have to click on full backup but on the right hand side you can also see these options you can partially backup your website using these options but for now we are going to use this one full backup click on that on this screen you have to enter an email address here because this backup will take some time and you'll you will be notified on this email address once the backup is completed and then again you can log into the cpanel and you can download your backup for now i'm i'm going to select this option do not send email notification of backup completion click on generate backup if i click on this you can see here in progress okay it will not take much time here because this website is a small website just uh, it's created only for this tutorial but if you have a big website then it may take some time so don't worry about that you can enter an email address and then you can leave it you will be notified on that email address and then you can come back and download this backup now you can see this process is completed and what you can do once again you will log into the cpanel go to backup manager once again go back to cpanel backup wizard and then go back to full backup like this and then you can simply click on this and you can download it on your local drive okay now i'm going back to the home page of this cpanel now depending on your hosting provider you may not find this option backup so what you can do to backup your complete website all you need to do you have to find out file manager click on that in file manager what you have to do simply click on the top file press shift key and click on the last file right click on the screen then click on compress okay make a zip archive here by selecting it and then compress files all these files will be saved inside this zip archive and you can download that by simply clicking on that file icon okay you can see we have multiple files and folders here but this was the backup file which we have created from that option full backup from backup wizard now if i want to download this simply i have to double click on this icon just in the front of this backup 8.8 .8. okay so what i have to do simply i have to double click on the icon like this and i will be able to save it so we have completed backup of all these files okay now remember that 
in that option in backup wizard you need not to perform anything simply you have to take backup of uh, everything from that option and you have to download but in this option you have to first of all take the backup of all these files this include your emails your media files and everything okay so once you have completed the backup of all these files by creating a zip archive and you have downloaded it then you have to go back to the home page by clicking on this icon on the left hand side top corner you will go back to the cpanel now go to the php my admin okay you will find it under databases click on php my admin in php my admin on the left hand side you will find these two options information sigma and the database of your website okay you have to find out the database of your website if you have multiple databases and uh, let's say you are running multiple instances then you have to find out the database of that particular website by going to the uh, mysql database okay from here you can see mysql database okay so this was the name of the database of that particular website if i go back here you can see this is mentioned here all you need to do you have to click here then you will see all these rows and columns on the right hand side okay if you will scroll down to the bottom you will find this option check all so once all these rows and columns are selected you have to check it like this okay then on the top menu you can see export okay so you have to click on export let it be like this only and here should be sql like this and click on export and this way you can export the database of your wordpress website so these are two ways by which you can take complete full backup of your wordpress website in the very next video i'm going to show you how you can utilize these backups so that you can easily restore your website in future so thank you for watching this video see you in next video